Listen, don't be coming in here being a diva, okay? This is not. No, no, no. First he's off, Holly. First off, Holly. He's he might be our guest, but it's not like he's just some random guest, okay? If it was somebody we didn't know, then it might be a little bit. Oh, I wasn't really nice to Cato either, so that's not really true. Um, yeah. But the tra- the truth of the matter is, is like he needs to know the rules. We need to. He's in our oh, he's in our God. domain now. We need to knock him down a couple pegs. I, I know the rules though. This is true. This is true. <laughs> What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Breaking Bells. I am Bobby, the Nintendo Guru, joined by the amazing, the wonderful, the iconic Patrick in the house. What's up, Patrick? Yes, I didn't do, I didn't do the face thing because I knew you were going to do that. I was like, I'm not setting wow. myself up like that. Oh, thank you. Uh, and then we also have we also have Holly. What's up, Holly? Listen, hey. Holly's like all done up this week. Last week I had frumpy Holly, and oh, then this week, now th- this week Pat's Bobby, here. Pat's here, and all of a sudden, she just does it all up. Well, you know, I've got to impress our guests, but... No, last week, I told you I had an eye infection, and I mm-hmm. did have an eye infection, so I look like a potato, but it's fine. Just because your eyes are messed up doesn't mean you can't do the whole rest. I did do the whole rest. Yo, the only thing pe- I did... Girls don't pe- need makeup, Bobby. They're beautiful Well, I'm not saying are, that. Okay? I'm not saying that, Pat, but look how she's all done up today. When you're here, but when it's me, it's like we've been, make an it's like we're an old married couple. She's just like, whatever, you got me now, buddy. We have guests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on that road once. I don't want to do it again. Holly, what? Uh, how, oh, no. how do you? Uh, too soon. Exactly, Woo. it's never too soon. What? Uh, what do you got for us today, Holly? So I want to know your thoughts on people selling amiibo coins and what you think villagers should actually be worth in real money. Mm. Okay. I just want to know your thoughts on it. We've not covered it before. I've so. never heard of amiibo coins. So okay. What, so what exactly? I've heard of the cards that have like the whole series on them. Yes. But what are these coins that you're talking about? So the coins are... So people can buy those NFC tags. Mm-hmm. They then dump the information for each amiibo yeah. onto these little tags. And then I think a lot of people use like resin and that kind of stuff. And they just create these little like discs or like, oh, okay. I guess. So then you can buy them for however much. And then okay. you've got that amiibo, but it's not a proper amiibo, I guess. Yeah. Um, it's not just coins. People do other things like they draw them really, really badly and send them out mm-hmm. like for a laugh. There's lots of different ways to kind of get it, but I just, I feel like the more, I feel like there's so many people that are doing it, so many people that are selling them, and I personally don't have any, but I'm at a point now where I'm like, what are they actually worth in real money, you know, because Mm -hmm. there's certain villages that have really fluctuated, and I don't know, what would you be willing to pay if you had to? Mm. That's a tough one. Like for Bill, how much would you pay for Bill? Take my house. (laughs) <laughs> you know the crazy thing is this is so strange to me because you have a lot of cards i have you them all have any cards i have you them didn't all. Have them. all mine are literally horrible so i didn't have them all right okay. and then about nine months before actually about three to four months before nintendo announced the new animal crossing game i said to myself i need to finish a series i need to get them all mm-hmm. yeah so what i started buying was unopened boxes Oh, okay. On eBay. And I paid the first round. Like, I, I did it once. And I bought a Series 2. Because I had all of Series 1. The weird thing was, it became harder and harder to get them as the Series went on. Series 1 was really simple, I felt, to get mm-hmm. all 100 cards. No big deal. Series 2, 3, and 4 really ramped up and got very difficult, right? So, and then they also did the RV series as well yes. i think that was like yeah. another 50 or something like that so the and I, and I only worried about series one two three four the rv ones i didn't really worry about and they, you can't even use them in this game anyway so it doesn't matter no so for me i paid i believe 200 dollars for three unopened boxes of amiibo cards wait how three, many is in a box 300 i paid 200 wow that's 200 dollars a- 
That's for, a steal nowadays. For now, yeah. It ain't even close to that now. Now. Wowzers. How many's in a box? How many packs? How many packs? There is... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Intermission. Because yeah. just to give you context, three packs cost $70 right now. <gasps> That's about what it is here. And we only get three cards in yep. the ones over here. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the ones I got, we've only got um yeah, three cards and they were three ninety five for a pack and now it's about thirteen pounds for a pack, which is what, sixteen, seventeen dollars, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. They've oh it's crazy. You know crazy, crazy thing, crazy. it doesn't even say how many packs yeah. are in the box. But I wanna oh. say there was Thirty, I think, thirty packs, oh, something wow. like that. Wow, this but, but that's also, amazing. But also in the United States, we got six cards per pack. Yes, yeah. we got one special, and five whatever. We got the one that was shiny, and then five whatever. But this is the box right here. So I bought, I bought three oh, of these. Oh wow! So I bought a series two, three, four. Then what I did was, I was going to do another round. I did a whole video. I think it was on Twitch. I streamed it one time. Where I just Ooh. opened all the boxes, all the cards. Yeah. yeah. But nobody, there were probably like 10 people that watched me the whole time because nobody was really <laughs> there, right? But there was a lot of doubles and stuff. Then I went through and I figured out what I did. Then what I did was I was like, I could either go, when I figured out the money, mm. I was going to do another round of 200. I needed about 75 cards total. And I was like, it's going to cost me about 75 bucks to buy the cards I need. So I yeah. individually went on and bought all the cards I needed. So it cost me about, I would say, total about $400 to get the ones I needed. Wow. And from beginning to end. Maybe maybe $450 I spent. Oh, for all the sets? That's great. For, ser wow. for series one, two, three, and four. You know, That's great. You know, <laughs> you know, My goodness. Now it's a nightmare. Now you might as well forget yeah. about it because they're so astronomically high. I, I bought some before they quadrupled in price yeah. and um i got probably some of the worst pulls i've ever seen honestly yeah. they're so bad they are villagers that literally no one wants yeah. like mm -hmm. they none of them are ones i would ever i'd yeah. ever use but i can see why now more than ever people are buying these little like resin coins and like fake mm -hmm. amiibos mm -hmm. because you know you've got Raymond on demand yeah. at like what is it forty dollars? I usually see it in dollars. Yeah, but what I don't understand is Raymond's not that Raymond don't have an amiibo card. Yeah. Yeah, but people are I think they're like dumping it from the game. They have to like be, they have switch. to be hacking something, yeah. Because yeah. there's no there's no such thing. Because they started doing it now. Yeah, yeah no they no such started thing like as, ripping it from the game. What is it? It's Raymond, Fauna, Sherb, Dom, and Annalise, right? They're the five that are brand new. No. Uh, Judy. Uh, no, Judy, no, Renee. Not. Is Judy brand new? Judy, Renee. Uh, Is there 10? Seven, I think. Is Wait, it Megan or, new? Audi? Bear? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. yeah so, Audi's new. Yeah, but anyway, the point is, yeah. is there, there's, a, there's a handful of them that you can't get. That, that yeah. You, or get an amiibo card, legitimate amiibo card for it. I, man, I just feel like you have to really look at like your financial situation. What's it mm -hmm. really truly worth for you? I man, I just don't see the point of spending forty, fifty dollars on a card. No, I I don't either. Or a coin. I do and I don't though. Okay. Like, mm. For example, if you had no cards and you like you were looking everywhere for Bill, and maybe you don't have a community to get you a bunch mm -hmm. of tickets or whatever like that. You might look towards the internet. Like, I think that everyone yeah, should buy true. one card. One okay, card. so here's the thing. I I talked about this on, I think, the la last one of the last week's episodes. Or actually, it was the live episode we did. I don't know what, you know what, I don't know what episode it was. I do, too <laughs> much, I do so much stuff, I can't keep track. But anyway, the point of the story is, is that I was asked about, we were talking about the Facebook groups. And I was, it was the live episode we did, Holly. And, oh, and, yes, and yes, yes. during that episode, I said... That Facebook used to have this weird underbelly during New Leaf. Mm -hmm. yeah. I paid 35 million bells for Bill. And honestly, wow. if I wanted Bill again, that would be what I would do. I would just... But I don't see... That's the weird thing. I don't see the auctions happening the way they did before. 
No. The, the way it used to work was I would get Bill in boxes or whatever, and then I would just go to a Facebook group and tell people, like, hey, I have Bill in boxes. Who wants them? So b- bidding starts at a million bells. And then, like, people would bid. And then after an hour, you would declare the winner, and the winner would come over, and they would drop you the money, and then they would go and... But part of the problem in this game is bells really have no value anymore. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So it would turn into a nook mile ticket thing. And that to me is where the issue is. It's because unless you're buying nook mile tickets off the internet, there is no real rhyme or reason to legitimately get thousands of nook mile tickets. Mm-hmm. This is, there's no way, man. There's yeah. no way. Like I right now have 6,000 or 60,000 points right yeah that's only going to equate out to be like maybe 30 tickets 30. yeah yeah that's nothing these people are selling them for thousands of belt or thousands of nook mile tickets yeah mm-hmm. so i think in this game perhaps unless i could uh, i would buying a card for 50 bucks would be a last resort for me yeah yeah like i would that's ha- why i think the like amiibo coins and stuff i think they are a good idea from the perspective of if you really want you know if you Mm -hmm. really want a certain villager you can't afford you know 50 dollars for raymond so here's my question here's my question for you Mm. how much is an amiibo coin costing i'm seeing in dollars usually about six to eight dollars per coin okay but how many come on Huh? How many characters are coming on that coin? One? one? Just one. Yeah, yeah, just the one. But the thing is, is it all you have to do, you buy those little tags for, what, I, I guess £10, you get 50 of them. And then if you're selling them for like £5 each, that is such a, like, oh, of that course. Is, That's, those are some margins. That's you know? the thing, yeah. But the thing of it is, is you got to think about it. You're going to buy, you're going to go to a store. If you're lucky, you can go to a five below. That you might be able to pull some out of there, right? Man, those were the days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't even go to Five Below anymore right now. Um, <laughs> but if you could get into a Five Below that had them, you go in, you pick them up, and then you turn around, you put them up on, or you open them up, you're technically paying five bucks for six cards in here yeah. in the United States. So when you look at those numbers, you're running the risk. You're probably going to spend $15, $20 because you're going to buy multiple packs. Yep. And you're not you're not going to really probably get what you want, so you have to go back in and do it again. So, I yeah. mean, at the end of the day, if you can avoid the frustration just by buying it and blipping me a nut, yeah. and six bucks isn't bad at all. Yeah. But here's the thing, though. If I buy a Marshall coin and I just continuously kick him out and get, what, 300 Nook Mile tickets? That's like game-breaking <laughs> right there. I think people right do there. that, though. I'm pretty sure people yeah. do that a lot. And just swipe them back in. But I will yeah. say this, like... If anyone tells you there's a rare villager, they're wrong. There's no rare villagers. No. There's more coveted villagers because they don't have amiibo cards. Yeah. Yeah. There's no like legal way to get them in. Yeah. But there's no such thing as like a like even the new ones. Like Yeah. yeah. There's no different odds to getting certain people on different The thing that's so weird cards. to me though is this. And I think Nintendo should really update and figure out a way to work with within the means of the draw of what characters go into Amiibo Island. We're going to the mm. Mr. Islands. I literally watched your stream the other day, Pat. You went for six hours, right? <laughs> you were looking God. for two different villagers, couldn't find either of them, and you were literally getting back to back. You got Lopez yeah. back to back islands. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's frustrating. I got Zucker like seventeen times. Yeah. Guys, I got I got Octavian fifteen times in one yeah. stream. Fifteen. Yeah. Honestly, I lost my mind over it. It was so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> like, but now you love him. <laughs> and now I do adore him, as you can see. Well, it would be He's nice. My boy. It would be nice if they did something where they were just like, "Hey, you get a you get a villager, and that villager is locked out for four hundred tries." You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. And like, you should go through the whole roster, randomized. Well, but... that's what I'm saying, randomized. But like, if yeah. I got if I were to go to an island and Marshall comes up, and mm-hmm. I pass on Marshall. Yeah. I literally would have to work through four hundred new, four hundred yeah. characters before Marshall would re-establish yeah. again or that become available again. That might fix the economy too. Yeah, yeah. because then That's like true. villagers would go way down. Like yeah. someone like Eric, I don't even know his value now, but it probably would go to like fifty yeah. mile tickets. Like, yeah, yeah it's crazy. probably. I don't hmm. know. So anyway, 
that is all. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Breaking Bells. Be sure to check out all the episodes Monday, Wednesday on Holly's channel, Tuesday, Thursday on my channel. This week we have a special episode hitting Pat's channel on Friday. That is all. Uh, peace out, Preston. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Finally, you said something.